which is a report I do every quarter to summarize the entire health of our business, looking at all the KPIs um, at Spotify for Latin America. How I kind of overcame that was I would t ask myself, why is this piece of information important? If I was the CEO of Spotify, why would this piece of data be important for me or like for my business decision? So once I started asking myself that question, then it becomes easier for me to like kind of rise above the data so I don't get distracted by like the nitty gritty of the numbers. Okay, let's see what's on the agenda today. I have a call with my manager at 9.30, which is in like 10 minutes. Basically, we have a one-on-one -on -one for an hour and we just give each other an update on what we're working on. And for this week, we're focusing on our quarterly business report, which is a report I do every quarter to summarize the entire health of our business, looking at all the KPIs um, at Spotify for Latin America. So here I am walking my manager through my analysis on our business. On a high level, my business analytics workflow can be broken down into five steps. Step one, I look at our business metrics and see on a high level whether we're doing well or not doing well to get a general feel of where we are at. Step two, I then go deeper into analyzing these metrics by writing SQL queries to pull the raw data from hundreds and millions of our user data. Step three, once I have the raw data, I then import it to Google Sheet and do my Excel tricks like feed lookup, pivot table, formulas, and this is a step I call data wrangling. Then step four, from there, once I have the raw data, I start visualizing data, turning them into graphs and see if there are any interesting trends. And finally, step five, which is also the most important part, is to put these charts and data into a deck and develop a narrative on how our business is doing based on these data and insights. So yeah, in a nutshell, a lot of SQL, a lot of Google Sheet, a lot of looking at the numbers. For lunch, I think since I'm traveling tomorrow, I'm just going to eat some of the leftover food in the fridge. We have some chicken soup, a turnip cake that my boyfriend's grandma made. called Wobogao in Mandarin. It's like turnip cake. I grew up eating this. Like usually people in Taiwan eat, eat it for breakfast. Mm. Jumping into the next call. Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm good. It's I'm in New York right now and it's like snowing and really cold. So <laughs> definitely not ideal. I'm from Taiwan originally, but I actually grew up in Vietnam, so I moved to Vietnam middle, for middle school and high school because my dad has a business there, so I went to international school there, that's where I learned English, and then once I got into like the international school world, I just, I couldn't go back to Taiwan for like the normal university there, so I decided to come to the States, so I moved to New York by myself for college, and then I stayed here ever since. It's been six years in the States. So it is currently 1 p.m. and I'm gonna make some coffee. We're making ice latte. Ice decaf latte with oat. p.m. I'm gonna do a sprint session for two hours, work until 4.30, and then I need to do my laundry and pack. There's my boyfriend's desk. We have a running joke that we're like in a call center. Actually, this feels like a wee work. I, I can talk to him just right there, so. Okay, sprint session. Usually quarterly business report is like the most stressful time of the year because it requires an extensive amount of data analysis. A good tip of data analysis and like doing business analysis is it's never just about the data. It's always about what are the business insights that you see based on the data. One of the biggest challenges when I had starting out was 
um, being able to have a high level narrative because I will always get so stuck up into like the numbers and the data itself. How I kind of overcame that was I would t ask myself, why is this piece of information important? If I was the CEO of Spotify, why would this piece of data be important for me or like for my business decision? So once I start asking myself that question, then it becomes easier for me to like kind of rise above the data so I don't get distracted by like the nitty gritty of the numbers. I'm more so thinking on a high level like, okay, our business is not doing well, why? Or our business is doing great, why? And then I can pinpoint at least like two, three reasons why based on data. So. Yeah, that's my little spiel about how I do business analysis. Today we're making braised chicken for dinner. In Mandarin, it's called And yeah, that's it for my day. And I hope you're having a great day as well if you're watching this. See you next time.